Kenyan engineers have been urged to take advantage of ongoing government water projects across the country to showcase their capability in the construction sector. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Sanitation, Eric Muga, says engineers need to innovate to address the challenges of a growing urban population. The ministry has committed to supporting sustainable infrastructure development, particularly in water and sanitation through the construction of 100 dams. We get more from our very own Jimmy Bogo. Speaking during the convention of the Association of Consulting Engineers of Kenya, the Institute of Engineers of Kenya President Shama Kiteme highlighted the need for construction firms to onboard engineers and allow them to be actively involved in the day-to-day -day operations to safeguard the integrity of the profession as well as the structural integrity of buildings in the country. We do hope also that it will become mandatory for you to run a construction company in this country. You must either be an engineer, you must employ an engineer, or you must retain an engineer as a consultant. We will continue pushing for this and we will do what is necessary so that this is achieved. For when we are doing this, we are fighting hard for the dignity of our colleagues, especially in the public sector. This was echoed by the regulator, the Engineers Board of Kenya, Chairperson Engineer Erastas Mungera, who noted that the board is in the process of cleaning up accredited engineers across the country to ensure that engineers who undertake projects are accredited. But where engineers who are, who are involved, we have had three suspensions. Uh, three engineers have been suspended. We have had uh, 18 warnings. They are given a warning on that. And others, uh, we have just um, um, excused them because we found they were not at fault. The Ministry of Water has also welcomed the expertise of local engineers in the ongoing construction of dams and other major projects across the country, noting that the future of water and sanitation lies in the hands of engineers and technology they deploy. This conference is a platform to explore these opportunities. It is a chance for us to engage with cutting-edge developments in engineering and to consider how these innovations can be applied to improve water access and sanitation in Kenya. As the three-day ASEC convention kicks off here in Nairobi, one of the areas that the engineers are expected to focus on is how to enhance the use of technology to secure the future of the profession. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.